unbelievably thin, and I don't know if you can look and take a picture of it. This system is much thinner than my finger, and trust me guys, my finger is not fat. <laughs> so what you see over here is the thickness of this system, and this system are really, really, really thin systems. But there was a lot of discussion lately about Windows 8. And Intel and Microsoft have been collaborated closely for the last 20 years. We had several deep partnerships between Intel and Microsoft through the development of Windows 8, taking full advantage of the performance, making huge amount of effort together to reduce the power because it's interaction between the software and the hardware, to take advantage of the media and graphic capability and take advantage of the old x86 ecosystem. In order to show you a demo, I would like, first of all, to thank and I would like to invite on stage Brett Carpenter, Director of Program Management for Windows Ecosystem Group that flew directly from the Build Conference in order to be on stage with me here. Give a hand to Brett. Morning, Rosie. How are you doing? And by the way, I really appreciate you coming over here with such a notice. You're great. Yeah, that's great. What I have here is an example of how we've reimagined Windows from the chipset to the user experience by enabling Windows 8 to run on this 32 nanometer Intel Atom SOC developer platform. But this is a tablet. That's right, this is a tablet, so we can touch it back and forth here. But I brought this up from Build yesterday where we demoed it in Anaheim and generated a lot of excitement. But I'm in the middle of the Ultrabook section. Oh, that's a good point. So can we move over to the Ultrabook? You bet. Thank okay. you. So with Windows 8, we've also ensured that it will continue to run on the breadth of hardware that exists in the market today as well as the innovative hardware that you and our development partners in the audience will continue to create. So what we have here is an Acer Aspire S3. It's got a 13 millimeter profile and a 13 inch screen. And it's got great battery life. And more importantly, it resumes very quickly. We'd like to see that. So this is not having it, this is sleep mode. This is sleep mode. Let's see right. how fast you can okay. use you. Are we ready? Yes. One, two, voila. There we go. All right, hold so, on, hold on, hold on. Where did you get this picture? I believe this is the only picture of me without a beret. Well, you know, I did a lot of searching on the web, and sure enough, I found one. So, it's amazing. Some of the people think that I was born with this beret. Let's go on. All right, okay, okay. okay. move forward. All right, let's go ahead and log in. And so, what you... Oh. No, doesn't like the password. No, oh, no. somebody changed the password? Uh, <laughs> cap locks me. There we go. Rule okay. number one, if you put cap locks, the password doesn't work. Yeah, and it was, it was a very easy password to guess as well, too. So, what you see here is the new Windows Start screen, utilizing the Windows Metro Style UI. And I can come down here, and I can navigate through. Um, using the keyboard, you can see it's fast and fluid. We take advantage of um, accelerated hardware graphics. And what I'm going to show you here, really, is I am actually able to use a keyboard and mouse with this. Even though we did design this for touch, we've made sure that all the existing keyboards and mice work because Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, because that's interesting. It was a touch first, but eventually we can use everything on a touch if we want to use a tablet, but we can get similar experience or similar capabilities if we use the mouse. A absolutely, plus the keyboard, because everybody out here taking notes is using a keyboard today. Yeah. So, one of the things I want to show you is these are tiles that represent all your content, your applications, people that you're interested in, and you'll notice that they're live. So I'm going to show you one of these now. We'll look at the weather one. Okay, what this is is an example of a Metro-style app where we've enabled developers to use HTML, JavaScript, for example, as well as C Sharp, C++, and Visual Basic to create Metro-style applications. Now you'll notice there's no Chrome. We give developers full access of every pixel on the screen so they can take advantage of that in their application. Yes, but many of the people here have got a huge amount of software, of binaries, That's right. traditional x86. What are you supposed to do with this IA architecture? Well, if I go back to press the start screen or the Windows key, if I go back to the start screen, uh, which you see here is the desktop. So we do support all the existing Windows 7 applications running in desktop mode. And let's go find one of those here. So I'm going to go, oops, I'm going to go back here. Oop, okay. Let me get this here. Where'd it go? Okay, so we're going to go search for an application I know is on here, Visual Studio. Okay, there it is. So now I've launched Visual Studio Express, which is something we gave away at the Build Conference, and you can see we have a desktop application running. I can also go back over here, and I can go here, and I can click through the existing applications that are running. And even if I wanted to, I can take this application, I can drag it out, and I can drop it on the screen. So if I'm a developer who's sitting here working on code, and I want to get out to the beach, I want to see how warm it is in San Francisco, 
I can go ahead and I can go do that. So actually, you can have the heart rate of the X86 and the new experience both on the same thing. Absolutely. Thank you very All much. Right. I cannot wait to play with this operating okay. system. Thank you very much.